video from the Mildavi Pottery in Strathblane, Scotland. I wanted to find a way to demonstrate a variety of different decorating techniques and I realised that this cube money box in our ready to paint range is absolutely perfect because there are five panels here that I can decorate, each in a different way. Can't do the bottom, apart from the fact that it's got a rubber stopper, you're not able to paint the bottom of the ready-made pottery or any other pottery with glaze uh, because it will stick to the kiln shelf when it melts. Uh, so that means that I've got four side panels and the top, so that's five different techniques to show you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did this panel. So for this, I found an old set of alphabet stickers. I took off the appropriate letters and put them on the top of my uh, money box cube. The only thing is that some of them are not very well stuck on because they're quite old stickers. So I decided that when I put the uh, underglaze on, I'm going to use this because I can daub directly down, hopefully that way not moving the stickers. So uh, for this technique, you could use any sticker uh, so long as you're more interested in the shape than the colour or the internal design. So, uh, you know, for example, a heart-shaped sticker would work perfectly. As always, when you put the paint on the door, but there's too much there and you have to wipe some off onto a bit of paper so that when you put this down, it doesn't come out too thick. So, and as I explained, because the stickers are coming up, I'm going to have to hold them a bit until I've dabbed them down properly. So, fingers crossed. For the moment. The great thing about the paint is that it kind of keeps the stickers in place as well, which is very helpful. So I'm going to do this coat and you can see that there are bits that it's missing out because it's not a paint brush, but I'm far too nervous. See, I moved the sticker then, that was a bit of a mistake. Oh dear, oh dear. Try and get that, uh oh, uh oh. Try and get that back in place. Yeah, I think we've survived. But you can tell that a paintbrush would really not go well with such low quality stickers. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna do a second coat and then I'll come back to the film for peeling off. Okay, let's hope it works. Of course, if I pick off the wrong bit, I can always repaint it, but I'm really hoping that I can just get the stickers up. Oh, nearly.
last one, I could ruin it. I am ruining it. There we are. Oh, well done me. This underglaze is called Turquoise Blue. And you watch me put one coat on over the stickers, but I actually put two. You can see in patches it's not 100% dry. When it's completely dry, it gets a clear glaze over the top, then it goes in the kiln, and then it's shiny. <laughs>